Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Indenting paragraphs can be a really helpful way of adding structure to your document. And there are numerous different ways that we can indent paragraphs in Word. So let's take a look at a few of them. Once again, I'm working in the document, the Comprehensive Guide to Coffee, and we're going to click in this first paragraph after the heading and the subheading. Now, if we jump up to the Home tab in the Paragraph group, we have two little buttons just here. Now, if I hover over this first one, this is the decrease indent button, and this is going to move your paragraph closer to the margin. Now, currently in this document, all of my paragraphs are as close to the left hand margin as they can go. But what about this other button? Well, this is going to increase the indent, so it's going to move our paragraph farther away from the margin. So let's click this one and see what happens. Well, as you can imagine, it's just going to indent that paragraph to the default first indent. And you can see by looking at the ruler that is just over one centimeter. If I want to remove this, I could then decrease the indent and it's going to take it back to the left margin. And I could click the increase indent button again. If I click it again, it's going to move further and carry on going. So I can really adjust these as I wish. Now, notice that these changes are really just being applied to the paragraph that I'm clicked in. And if we turn on our show hide markers, we can see exactly where the end of that paragraph is. Now, if I want to apply indentation to numerous different paragraphs, I would need to make sure that I select all of the paragraphs that I want to indent. And then I can use my increase indent button to indent the whole lot. Now, as we've just seen, when we increase the indent, it increases it to the default measurement. But what if we want to use our own measurements? Or maybe we want a different style of indent. Maybe we want to indent the first line, but not the rest of the paragraph. And that is a technique you often see in novels, in books. The first line will be indented, but the rest will be back at the margin. So how can we do things like that? Well, let's take our paragraphs back to the left margin by decreasing the indent, and we're going to open up our advanced paragraph options. So let's click on the diagonal arrow. And you can see automatically it's taken us across to the indents and spacing page. And the second section here is all related to indentation. So let's move this over here so we can see the text underneath. So this is where I can get very granular about the amount of indentation I want to apply. So if I want to put this up, I can click the up arrow. And if you notice in the preview window, it's just showing me where that's going to indent to. So this gives me a little bit more control when it comes to how far away from that left margin my paragraph is. I could even indent from the right margin. So if I put this up, notice it's going from the other side. And if I want to manually change this, I can simply click in the box, type in the exact indentation level I want and press enter. So really nice and straightforward. Now I'm going to click in this first paragraph one more time and reopen up our advanced paragraph editing because we do have some other options here underneath this special drop down. So this is where I can choose if I want a first line indent or a hanging indent. So if I say first line indent, take a look in the preview. This is what you see in novels. If I click on OK, it's going to indent just the first line of the paragraph and leave everything else at that left margin. And I can even customize exactly how far across I want that indent to be. So if I need it to be a little bit further along, I can adjust this, click on OK, and I get a completely different effect. Now I'm going to control Z just to undo this and take it back to how it was. Let's open up our options again and take a look at the other thing that we have underneath this special drop down. And that is a hanging indent, which is kind of the opposite of the first line indent. 
This time it's going to leave the first line of the paragraph at the margin, but it's going to indent everything else. And once again, we can adjust exactly by how far we want to indent. If we click on OK, we get a completely different effect. So really, this is entirely up to you how you want to manage indents in your document. Just remember, if you're just clicked in the paragraph, it will only apply the indent to that paragraph. If you want to apply it to multiple, simply select the paragraphs, jump into the advanced options, and then you can choose whatever level of indentation you want. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.